the late edition of News Center 13 with Scott Polk, Allison Gregory Polk, meteorologist Tom Atkins with weather, and Tony Powers with sports. Good evening, everyone. What a crummy end weather-wise to the Christmas holiday. The freezing rain that blanketed the state overnight has now been covered by snow and sleet, and traveling in central Iowa is treacherous at best. Now, before we show you the problems the storm caused around the area today, let's check in with meteorologist Tom Atkins to find out what we can expect for the rest of the night and tomorrow. Tom? Thanks, Scott and Allison. We'll give you the latest watches, warnings, and advisories in effect for the state of Iowa for tonight. Quite a wide variety. First of all, northwestern Iowa up here in the red under a winter storm warning for tonight. North central through northeastern Iowa, the rest of the red blocked counties are in a winter storm warning for tonight and into tomorrow. A snow advisory is in effect for tonight in west central down to southwest Iowa where they expect some snow to reform across that area after midnight. And a weather advisory for us here in central Iowa down in the southeast. Now this is mainly for the mix of precipitation over here which of course includes freezing drizzle, rain, sleet, and snow, and of course that's what's contributing mainly to the travel problems across our area. Let's check National Weather Service radar right now, show you what's going on. Really not much in the central Iowa region, Des Moines in the center of your screen here, a little bit of light snow activity off to the north and east, but the main and heavier bands of snow extending from Mason City where it's snowing heavily right now over down to the Quad Cities, and this precipitation continues to lift north at about 30 miles per hour, nothing really in the west and south. So we will have seven ou several hours of basically dry weather before snow redevelops later tonight and tomorrow morning. We'll take a look at some hefty snowfall totals and the forecast later in the broadcast. Scott? All right, Tom, thanks. The weather has been a nightmare for holiday travelers. Freezing rain caused a number of accidents across the state this morning. The icy conditions also forced hundreds of travelers into ditches, keeping both tow truck operators and state troopers very busy. We learn more in this report from Bob Pyle. The icy weather took holiday travelers by surprise. The state's highways and interstates were littered with stranded cars and semis. Dozens of state troopers were out trying to keep up with the accidents, which according to Trooper Charles Black, numbered in the hundreds. It's been 100% ice out here, uh, cars sliding into ditches, accidents, where you've uh, got a waiting list of accidents to, to handle right now. Thousands of interstate travelers had to take it easy, some waiting at rest stops. The Smiths held up at this I-80 rest area they had been traveling for several hours and experienced some bad roads. We have seen cars, trucks, you name it, in the ditches, all kinds of accidents. It's scary. It's really scary. This icy weather brought on a lot of close calls. Just ask the folks who were riding this Minneapolis-bound Jefferson bus. We rode the guardrail most of the way, I'm sure, because we looked over on the other side and we couldn't see anything. Yeah, I can remember the, these scenes from the movies, from the airport and all these other disasters, and I was thinking, let's just go down this hill and make it okay. And, and I think the bus driver did a good job of getting us down the hill. Tow trucks were in big demand. Drivers were waiting hours for a tow. Danny Smith of Britt, Iowa, landed in a ditch about 5 this morning. He finally got hauled out shortly before noon. We're okay. No damage to the vehicle. We're out on our way again to the next rest stop and then stop. Despite the icy conditions, traffic was heavy on the state's roadways, packed with holiday travelers who, for the most part, were cautiously heading home after the long Christmas weekend. Bob Pyle, News Center 13. If you were one of the many residents who had to scrape the ice off your car windows and sidewalk, imagine scraping an entire city. That's what the Des Moines Public Works Department employees had to basically do when they were called in early this morning. 25 workers had to start spreading sand at 3 this morning. Some residential areas still need to be cleared, but Lee Boyson says attention is now being turned to the snow that's on top of the ice. We finished up the snow routes this morning, and now we're applying uh, sand to the residential streets, mainly the hills and intersections. And in addition, we're also putting uh, snow plows on the trucks that we don't need for spreading operation in anticipation of snow plowing tonight. Officials with Iowa Power say there are also several power outages across central Iowa. Spokesperson Kathy 